by a Mike Shot writer, and this time round we'll be talking about the Roman Imperial Navy set uh, from Static Online. This this uh, this requires you to replay the what uh, uh, we the most recent episode we we made. But I'm going to have to explain why we replayed why what what the reason why we replayed the missions. Yes. So we replayed the miss, missions. Many of the missions we had had their own. The own they had the had the with the rewards that we now have access to will not once one them per week and listen to and they also had a reward that we could could up, could obtain only during that quote event. The many of the these events had a enhanced universal tech upgrade that has a reward for completing it for once that per week. This often uh, meant that we learned how to get through the episode as fast as we can because we want our speed running because we were, had already played it the week prior. So, let me quick cover something about speed running. Our play, our playthrough uh, took just about an hour to complete. When if we take the introduction and the outro as well, as much as I. I can't tell much I actually, actually cut out the episode because we actually had about 55 minutes. Um, I also went around and checked out quite a few things which were not are exactly on the beaten path. So we added stuff to the time and we let everyone speak fully. So in to get to in to get the full set, I actually spent about 25 and 20 minutes on the second and third playthroughs. This really just means skipping all the dialogue where possible and getting in position for some for some events before the game tells us to go there. Mainly, I did a bit of that during the uh, during that uh, last episode, and this. I mean, it's basically tap 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 tap. That's how quick you know you know we we did we moved through the, some of the dialogue se sequences. Right, so let's quick, quick remind us about sets and ground sets in in general. Ground sets, uh, ground sets are sets are groups of items that are equipped when equipped. Add bonuses that only add when multiple items are from that group. Ground sets are actually usually a free piece set. There's only one ground set that is locked behind an event, the arena stun pack weapon. Admittedly, that's known in the Phoenix box, but still, it's it's a two-piece set, and we've actually been using it for good work long while. Uh, but, you know, so and not because I had the event myself, uh, but it's a weapon and shield set, and multiple weapons you can pick for that set. Only two sets that have kit, both the kits are mission rewards, and we've actually, and this, believe it or not, this is the second uh, mission mission that has. Second mission that has kits in it, so don't worry. You with never most well, most ground sets are actually weapon, armor, and shield sets as well. So you and I forgot to mention that on this list is actually a good chunk of the ground sets are actually reputation sets. I mean, it doesn't help that about three or four sets in the Omega and and what and uh, new car set sp ground sets uh, yeah. so let's move on to the actual set uh, pieces themselves so the Roman Imperial Navy combat armor the, th the big perk on this one is secondary energy attacks that is the alternate attack deals 50% more damage now on PC that is the right click or number two power. Now and then the Imperial Woman armor has a 1.1 health regeneration, 29 root resistance, 29 knockback resistance, 84 physical damage resistance, and 84 
damage resistance rating and 100, 115 are damage resistance rating and 84 plasma damage resistance in addition to the energy resistance rating so this is really good to go going up against bog as well as one was this this does actually the uh, the secondary attack is actually using the more powerful attack so you can probably do a lot of damage to enemies when you are uh, wearing this set this armor on its own so next coming up is the shield now the Roman Imperial Navy personnel shield mark 12 again this is this is a 414 maximum shield capacity. It fully regenerates after not taking damage for three seconds, which is pretty quick. Which it has a chance to provide an energy damage buff to to you when you take damage. This is a unique ability to this shield, and it also reduces all energy energy damage to shields. And most damage is that's done. Most damage to shields are done by with energy damage, so you get pretty decent resistance here. Next is the kit, which is the unique thing about it. Now, Roman Imperial Navy profession, professional specific kit. It comes in three variants, depends on your captain. And this is the max twelve stats for all three classes. Plus twenty percent damage to from you. Plus twenty two point two critical chance, which means you do more. You have a chance to do more damage. And when you do more damage, you have eight point eight critical severity to go on that when you do score crit. Mm. And of course, you get and you also get a fifty two percent. Oh, 52 personal shield expertise which gives you a lot more shield abilities on here and I've said to show you show the each of the classes specific kit modules the tactical is at the top the red border the yellow border is the engineering and the blue is the science these are all unique these are all picked by your captain you cannot pick a tactical kit on a kind of equip a tactical equip tactical piece of gear on a tactical kit module or mid kit on a on a science captain or an engineering captain. So let's see what the actual set bonuses are now. If you had two of them you get a get the ability of the integrated tactical spot. While aiming, you get a 10% energy damage resistance rating, which is again a bit more quite useful and a bit more defensive. While crouching, you get more critical severity, which again, which assuming you get a crit, it will do do a lot more damage when you are actually crouching. Both of these are powers uh, abilities you can players can do. I will wish I had the ability to show, show off the aiming ability, aiming and crouching hit right here but I'm in the middle of a uh, talk but that's really it. And uh, moving on to the free piece set. We now have the, the emergency regenerative shield away. When receiving damage while shields are depleted you have 10 you have 100 percent chance to apply to the team a immense regenerative shield array, shield array uh, which means you get 860.4 shield regeneration reduces your damage to shield by 25% for 10 seconds and this effect can only happen to a target for only once every 90 seconds now this doesn't mean you get basically just you knock your shields off, you get get them back, and you don't lose them again in a, in a in ninety seconds. You 
keep them up, up again. But oh, something I forgot to mention. There's a little secret. There is actually a fifth piece of equipment here. A fourth, no, a fourth piece of equipment here. Fifth piece of equipment on this on the reward list. This guy comes part of the part of the kit frame, kit frame which you which we covered a couple of seconds ago. Yeah, which you know it comes with this kit, one of these kits, but. But yes, this kit universal kit modules are unique in compared to most of it. Uh, most of the kit modules is that they can be equipped on any captain regardless of career or specialization. However, this is a bound to a character universal universal kit module, so you can't just pass it on to your friends. And what does the this this feedback cascade module does? Well, here's a uh, here it is a quick stat. It's it damage when it damages damages attack and change. It basically means that you can it falls a bit like a well actually that is a bit work. And when it when you get hit by an attack, you will basically your your shield will basically fire back a pile. Your you will basically fire back a pile of uh, damage towards a the your enemy. And well, as the video sh I showed here, does really well. I mean, there's a lot of damage to that bog uh, that we just grabbed, and really, it's it's it's. One you have you you got to decide if it's worth using or not because it's one of those. Yep. Go away, you're going to cause the attack. Because I don't I don't, don't personally use it myself for that. As well, this kick module. But is this set good enough? Good, that's good, good for Roman captain in the in the previous episode. So here's why. The kick module gives you. a Bonus plasma damage to on ground, which many Romulans have easy access to. Many of the powers at many of the Romulan bridge officers and captain powers have just plasma damage, where their Federation, KDF, or Dominion counterparts do not. They will usually use phaser disruptor. Or pull one depending on their their faction. It also offers a quote day one set uh, in a decent form, and is probably the first true day one set you can actually obtain now since the 2018's removal of the Lost Dominion or the 2800 Dark. And when I mean day one, I'm going to mean I basically mean it basically because. The, most of the other sets are behind reputations, and and almost all the others, most of the others take but take up to thirty days to obtain if you were keeping up with the reputations. And I should point out that 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 this is a is put it has some unique stuff as well. Have been it's pretty decent for Romans. Because it, it's pretty decent Romans, I, I've used it a few times on my Roman characters. Now, is this set good? Is the real question. It, Imperial Navy set is built for damage and has some damage mitigation, which you should should have when you are basically going, Kiwi, look at me. It's actually a decent set, but has been outclassed by other reputation sets and, and has been. Uh, and has been considered by, and and been outclassed by some of it built builds uh, as well, some of it rewards as well. But for 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 full season season and a half, this was actually pretty decent. Was the, the kit is believe it or not is still considered by many 
but for many late game ground builds, there's some alternative sets are, are great on the ground, believe it or not. Uh, you know, help, you know, some alternative sets will make it great on the ground. I mean, quite a few. You took, you can pick up quite a few plasma weapons in the rep set reputations, and you do have a slight, and it does help there. So that's really been it. I'm Mike Shatwriter, and as always, there, there's a subscribe button that popping on screen. You might want to click it, or you might want to click one of the other buttons, videos on screen, and enjoy that as well.